A beloved community bookstore is shutting its doors after five years on North Limestone in Lexington. LX18 Sophia Millar talked to Wild Fig Bookstore owners, owners about what's next for them. That's tonight's Big Story at 6. It's not just a bookstore. Wild Fig Bookstore is a safe space for this community. I do believe that this space is sacred. It's a space with character. Brick walls, worn out couches, hand painted bookcases, and local art. There are a lot of people in the community that are on my mind and on my heart about what happens to them when we leave this space. Wild Fig will be closing its doors at the end of the month. And that's part of what we're going to discuss in this community meeting. Store owners invited people to ask questions about what's happening with Wild Fig in the coming weeks. Support us while we're here. Support us when we're not here. Sarah Williams says struggles to pay high rent and disagreements with property owners are pushing them to relocate. We will ensure this space goes on beyond this physical location. This isn't the first time finances have left Wildfix future in limbo. In 2018, the store's original owners turned to sell the space. At that point, a group of locals stepped up and turned Wildfake into a work cooperative. Now they're looking at several options to keep their doors open in the long run, all of which mean relocating. But William says it's a space worth fighting for. I understand um, the deep necessity of people being able to be fully seen and accepted, right, and to have their needs met. And that is part of what makes this space so sacred and safe. Is that we have many people who have been able to find that here. In Lexington, Sophia Millar, LEX 18 News. Wild Fig's owners say that the final plans are still in the works, but they want community input into the matter before they make any decisions.